Hi students, uh, this is Dr. Hemant and Dr. Vijay from the Department of Medical Oncology. We are faculty of Medical Oncology at Dr. Torius. Uh, today we have got uh, Dr. Swasti Kupadhyaya who has been with us in the past. Uh, he's been the rank number one in INISS Medical Oncology. Good news is he's got rank two in NEET SS Medical Oncology. He is with us here today. His joint aims uh, for his DM program, but uh, we are going to have a quick chat with him. Hi, Swastik. Hi, sir. How's Delhi? I can see the Delhi attire uh, already in place, but uh, how's Ames? Ames is a good place to be, sir. <laughs> Fantastic, yeah. So uh, for people who are new, uh, Swastik, can you just tell us about your background? From where did you start and where you are now? Hi everyone, uh, I'm Dr. Swasti Kupadhyaya. Uh, I come from a place called Saligrama in uh, Udupi district, Karnataka. And I've done my MBBS from uh, Kasturba Medical College, Mangalore. And I've done my post graduation in uh, general medicine from JJM Medical College, Davangere. And uh, currently I'm working as uh, Acad SR in uh, Ames, Delhi. Fantastic, Swasti. So it's good to see your journey from the beginning. Uh, I had been with him at uh, KMC a few years senior to him. Uh, good. Uh, so uh, we know that now you're in Ames. Uh, that is where you're going to be. But uh, how about the preparation for oncology? We know that many of the students do uh, talk about uh, trying to read Devita, trying to understand Devita. But probably how would you suggest what are the other resources that probably one should look at while preparing for oncology? As I think uh, whoever is preparing for oncology know that the subject is very vast and very volatile. Uh, we cannot uh, probably rely on Devita for everything. And it is not possible to read Devita entire book and remember everything out of it. So probably we need some kind of guidance and I think uh, Doc Tutorials has provided me that. I thank both uh, uh, Dr. Heyman sir and Dr. Vijay sir for their excellent classes. I had taken uh, Elite series and I had uh, seen the class videos as well. Very helpful. Uh, apart from that, yes, uh, I've gone through FDA drugs manual, like whatever the latest drugs which get approved, latest uh, combination of therapies which get approved, I think that is one should be aware of all the latest things happening in the field of oncology because oncology is such an evolving field. Uh, today something is uh, available, tomorrow it is old. So probably something else is only there uh, in the management. So I think one should be up to date with the current updates in uh, oncology. And this time's NEET exam, I felt it was uh, much different from what it was in the uh, previous years. Last year, I had given the NEET exam. It was more of a factual uh, based exam. This time, it was more of approach oriented and uh, more into uh, probably deeper aspects of oncology like uh, molecular biology, uh, molecular markers and uh, all approach oriented uh, questions. So I think, uh, yeah, mainly doc tutorials has helped me uh, do well in the exam. Yeah, uh, that is great. Yeah. We also wanted to know, uh, see the need pattern is going to change next time. So how are you going to advise the next uh, need going back, how to approach because uh, pattern is going to change almost the preparation is uh, supposed to be as we prepare for all exams so what is your advice to the other upcoming students uh, as far as i know the next need pattern is going to be uh, more of a medicine based exam and it it will have some amount of oncology as well some amount of oncology questions as well but uh, one should be thorough with the basic medicine part of it because most of the questions will come from medicine probably Harrison based I think one should stick to Harrison and uh, study Harrison thoroughly and also give importance to the sub-branches such as oncology, cardiology right. uh, but say somebody wants to prepare for INISS as well as NEET 
Now that's going to be a challenge now because one place is hardcore oncology, other place is going Definitely. to be general medicine. So in that case, um, you know, what are your thoughts on how to go about it? Because sometimes even we feel confused as faculty as how to kind of guide this student because that is what we want to do. And now you know how to crack it. It should be a better idea from you. I think uh, those who are preparing for uh, central institutes, I think the pattern is going to be the same what it was before. Uh, this time there was uh, INASS, it was 50-50 uh, uh, kind of a pattern where 50% was the subject specific and 50 was medicine. So in that way, someone who wants to pursue medical oncology in central institute, I think uh, they should stick to oncology uh, studying as well otherwise probably give importance to the medicine general medicine part of it because the majority of questions are going to be from general medicine and probably working uh, in the oncology setup for these few months in case if it's feasible and then focusing yes, on yes. Uh, medicine i think that also might be yes, yes. i'm pretty I, sure I uh, advise, yes yes right. working in oncology setup uh, it it helps a lot yeah, it just simplifies things, especially oncology as a subject, it gets simplified and then uh, you are still able to focus on medicine, but yes, time management might still become difficult. Um, yes, thank you, Swastik. Uh, at the same time, we would like to invite uh, you on board to guide the students as well, because uh, you are in the first year, there will be new things. Uh, you will be going through uh, newer aspects of oncology on a daily basis now. Yes that we always would want your inputs to this and uh, help other students go ahead. Because trust me, I think I felt more happier when you got your rank than what I've got when I got mine. So uh, seeing you rank one INISS, rank one uh, the entire uh, central exam and rank two in NEET SS, I think there's nothing bigger. You're always a brilliant student. So uh, this was expected from you, but uh, still achieving it is always uh, in your hands. So we would definitely like your uh, thoughts and opinions on constant time and basis that uh, to guide us better so that uh, next year you have your fellow colleagues from your own contacts that probably you would have guided them. So uh, yeah, I thank Swastik for joining us here today. That's from me and Vijay and Dr. Tutorials. Uh, see you soon. Thank you. Thank you.